Llamas are an important source of income for Andean farmers. They'll find enough forage until the end of the rainy season. But in just a few weeks, that will change dramatically when the season ends. The streams will dry up and the grazing land will turn brown. As the climate changes, the dry periods in the Bolivian highlands are getting longer. Surviving here is becoming more and more difficult. We have to walk further and further to find water holes or springs for our animals. Every year we have to cover greater distances and the search for water gets harder for us and our livestock. New water retention basins called atajaros are designed to help the people of the Bolivian highlands. Farmer Tomas Piyuko depends on his atajaro to survive. The 1,200 cubic meters of water it holds gets his family through the dry season. During the worst part of the drought, the atajaro will be our only source of drinking water, both for the livestock and for my family. The rainy season in the Andes is now much shorter than it was in the past. The amount of precipitation that used to fall over the course of six months now falls in just three. Foreign aid organizations are looking for ways to harvest the water instead of letting it simply run off. The rainwater is collected in retention basins. About 370 of these atajados have been built so far. Everything might be dry again in an hour, but the water flowing here will be collected over there, so it can be used for agricultural purposes. The Piaco family uses it to grow onions, beans and potatoes in a small plot. They have little other choice but to try to adapt to the changing climate. <laughs> German and Swedish development aid has helped finance seven of these atajados for their village. But the basins may still not be enough to keep the 120 villagers supplied with water in the future. Climate change is endangering our harvest. We're unable to anticipate the weather. We no longer know what the best time is for planting. There's far more severe weather and hailstorms than there used to be. The village elder inaugurates a new water basin. For the villagers, it's cause for celebration. The Andinos feast on mutton and peas straight out of their hats. There are no dishes or tableware at these altitudes. But there is traditional music. A song of hope that the new atajaros will, at least, help take the edge off their thirst in the future.